What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? Oh, what could it be that's hiding in here for me? What's in the box? What's in the box? Is this a model kit or what's in here for me? What's in the box? What's in the box? How hard is it to put together? Is it made of leather? Hey, what's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Today's episode of What's in the Box was filmed right here at Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Well, here we've got a special What's in the Box, the Model T Ford 1923 T delivery van. And this one is pretty cool, although you get the stickers for the side of the van for Nestle Crunch, Baby Ruth, and O. Henry, and the $10,000 or $100,000 bar. And there's a side there with the Antique Freak Boutique. Uh, there it is there, the side view. Without the sticker in the way. And there's the white version with gold. Okay, so this is one of the models that I got, again, for the Museum of the Highwood display coming up whenever I get it done. But I thought I would open up this one to show you. Now there's no more of these left in the store right now, but I think I should still be able to get a few if anybody wants to special order them. Now of course the delivery vans and that can be painted up any way you like. Um, most of the 23, actually all the Model T's in 23 were painted black. But the delivery vans are one of those kind of exceptional things. Okay, so first off, we have our glass pieces, which include the oval window inserts and the special glass that's square for the windshield frame. And of course, the typical Model A, uh, sorry, Model T tires come in all the Model T kits, except for the 27, that's different. You see, it's very simplistic, except this kit is different in the fact that they don't give you a full frame. You actually have to build the frame from individual pieces. Um, well, they still give you a full frame, but I mean, you know, fully assembled as a one-piece mold. And of course, just like the one out of my parts box, if you saw that video, there's the roof and the side pieces. Except these are not broken like mine, ha, <laughs> which is nice. Okay. And we have the Model T delivery van instructions. So it shows you see a lot of separate pieces on this one, which is nice. As uh, noted, to make a difference between the 25 Model Ts, which there's more of. There's your rails going together all separate, and then your parts dropping in, which is pretty neat. There's no hot rod parts to this one, so it's fairly straightforward. Of course, you could always, I guess, use hot rod parts from the 25 Model T if you wanted. There it is going together, simply. And paint charts, and that's kind of basic there. Of course, they give you the product catalog for 2015 which is now two years ago look at all the kits you could get back in 2015 <laughs> round two business reply standard thing but here's the oh yeah and you get another mini box in here but here's the cool part the big decal sheet and now Oh, I don't even have to cut it. Okay, I have to cut it. <laughs> now we cut the plastic off the decal sheet. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> you want to see stuff and I'm just swinging the knife around. Okay. The mystery begins. First we'll pull this off. There they are. Look at that. Hey, Baby Ruth should do that. I've got a model train that's got the Baby Ruth on it. 
old Tyco one, when you roll it, it goes chug, 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 because it's got a wheel with some weight in it. Baby Ruth, two cents. Oh, Henry, one cent. Two-piece bar, Nestle's $100,000 bar. And Nestle Crunch. Uh, we get oh, Henry up here in Canada. But I don't know about the other bars too much. The Village Tinsmith Antique Auto Parts. Antique Freak Boutique. Quite chic, quite chic. Art Deco props. Yeah, there's some neat stuff here. Now, as I said in another video, if you get the Three Stooges one, you could actually use some of the Three Stooges uh, things in this on this van. I think it was the, uh, what do you call it? Their um, uh, dry cleaner business was on there. So anyway, this looks like a pretty cool kit. I'd recommend you get one from Monster Hobbies. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Okay, so come on down, check it out, and we'll look forward to seeing you in the future. Enjoy.